Hey, good Fox here. So we got an MLB The Show 18 Diamond Dynasty trailer today. I'm going to do a full breakdown of it, everything I've found. I made some notes, so bear with me as I go back and forth between the video and the document. Um, so I'll be doing content again on MLB 18. This is the first video of it. Um, but there will be a full breakdown of this Diamond Dynasty on a Twitch stream Friday by the MLB The Show guys. Um, so check that out. San Diego Studios is doing one, um, doing them nicely as they lead up to this. Let's get straight into the straight into the trailer here as we break it down. Hi everyone, Lance Leahy here. Welcome to another MLB The Show Monday, powered by GameStop. Today we're highlighting what's new in Diamond. All right, so Diamond Dynasty, what's new? Levels are back. That's nice. I, they, I don't think they're going away. They're doing stubs again, obviously. Um, they have the the mini modes back. Play a little bit different on the uh, menu layout than last year. Um, kind of nice combined picture there. Um, Diamond Dynasty, let's click into it. Diamond Dynasty. The journey gets even more epic this year. All right, so we have the daily separated out. The exchange we'll get to later. Inventory, that's back. And then ticket counter, that's back again. Programs, your greatest challenge await the uh, and the immortal rewards. Let's get into the immortals. Here with dozens of new programs, time traveling. All right, so time traveling programs. The legends are basically called immortals here. As you see, they will go through a few of them in a little bit. But we got Ruth, Robinson. A lot of these guys carry over. I think the new ones that we saw, uh, let me, I have it written down a little bit later. Um, so, like, these guys are in the Hall of Fame. These are the the immortals but these guys also down here in the career arcs are also a few hall of famers like molitor so it's separated out between the all-time greats and the kind of lesser hall of famers dozens of new programs time traveling through baseball history all right so there was the there was the team epics are just called epics now and then the player epics are just labeled on the catcher and then here's the created player we'll get to that a little bit later in our flexible program system you get to choose which all right so the player epics, they, they look similar to last year. We had to both get on the field stats and exchange them. Which missions to play. There it is. So you had to get the, both these on the field stats and exchange stuff. So you have to both grind the game and, um, you know, invest some stubs into some, some cards here for these uh, player programs. As you play through smaller programs, you advance toward the big ones that reward players who have been forever immortalized in Cooperstown. Legends such as Jackie Robinson and Ted Williams. By completing their programs, you will inch closer to the best rewards of Diamond Dynasty, the immortal Oh, 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 missed it. Sorry. I wanted to show this. See, the immortal Nope. Oh, damn it. All right, here it is. I, I finally, this Aaron Judge bobblehead. So it looks like we're just getting collectibles here. We don't know what this is going to go to, uh, whether it's going to improve the team a lot or anything, but the, these bobbleheads look a little bit new. They'll get to them a little bit. Also signed baseballs and stuff uh, from Aaron Judge into the move to, to Ruth. So they did uh, confirm, actually, is it here? Portal Legends, no. including Babe Ruth. We didn't stop there. Instead, we blew the roof off the... At all right, so I, I guess I think uh, maybe I'll circle back to that earlier point. But basically what I want to say, that like those collectibles... Uh, now nah, we'll circle back to that. The the they're going very Madden-ish with those collectibles, uh, but I, I just hope they they know that the fallout that Madden went through with the collectibles and having too many of them fill packs got people really angry. Um, it looks like SDS is about to learn that lesson too. Um, I want to talk about these over 100 um, uh, players and after Babe Ruth. It looks like he's the final piece after finishing that immortal legend collectible. The way he talked about it um, being Babe Ruth. Oh, let's go here. The immortal legends, including. Ah, uh, sorry guys, having to circle back too far. Closer to the best rewards of Diamond Dynasty, the immortal legends. Yeah, so completing the sets gets the immortal. It looks like he is the the end immortal legend. Uh, maybe you have to fill out a few more at 100 percent, including the other reward missions. Right, we didn't stop there. That was a pretty bad point. Uh, but stats go over 100 now. So Ken Griffey obviously is, is crazy good stats. Um, and, and they said on Twitter that not all stats go over 100. We'll get to that in a second. Instead, we blew the roof off the attribute system. So it seems like they've taken stats to roof 11, essentially. Basically, if you guys have ever seen, um, God, what's, what's, that, what's that rock do, uh, mockumentary? Dang it. Anyways, this goes to 11. How do I not remember that? I should have written it down. Uh, but basically, the going to 11, which means they'll look different, but probably not play much different. Um, they just basically want to show more separation on the stats play. Um, but like, here's the thing with this Frank Thomas rookie card. Um, when you look at his stats from 1990, where they gave him the contact versus lefty 125 and 125 discipline, yeah, sure, his stats versus lefty, he hit 408 and had a 538 on base percentage, so that makes sense. But it was only in 93 plate appearances, so it seems like a small sample size. So basically, the, the biggest complaint for everybody getting 99s isn't really solved by the 125 issue, because if, if rookie Thomas is getting 125, 
I mean, it, it doesn't feel like we're going to get that much separation if, if they just raise the, the stats. And, and they did confirm on Twitter that live series players will also go over 99. So it, it feels like, yeah, it's nice to have, but if they're just going to hand it out to rookie Frank Thomas, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm being a little too critical here, but it just feels like it doesn't solve the issue they wanted to solve. Attribute system to support these immortals in Diamond Dynasty. The cap on attributes now extends... All right, here's here's crazy. So we were talking about over 100 and Ryan uh, Nolan Ryan and Aroldis Chapman never reaching their 103 max velocity. Um, so his velocity is only 84. So if they expected Nolan Ryan, if they wanted to put him, like, because his velocity should really be, like, 105 or something or 103. But it doesn't look like velocity is one of the stats that actually go over 100. As they said on Twitter, some just don't go over. So Nolan Ryan is Beyond with Beyond 99 meaning the Ryan Express and the Great Bambino will command an unprecedented level of respect, along with a total of 30 new legends and even more flashbacks. Yeah, so these flashbacks looks like the uh, player epics type of stuff. Um, normal. Facts. On the rewards front, Steven Haas and Luis Martinez from our content team are here with more. To have some fun, we added... All right, so to have some fun, um, they might not have boosts themselves. They can't actually be put into game, and, and you can't actually wear them. Um, there is no writing below them here, so like they don't have like plus stats. But just just wait. And hundreds of new souvenirs, new collectible team hats, jerseys, autographs, and even fan favorite bobbleheads. As you earn these souvenirs, you want to drop them and other player items into the exchange, a revamped area that lets you swap items to improve your squad and earn exclusive rewards. So we don't know what the squad improvements are for each one of those sets. I'm sure they're just like plus and minuses for certain players. And, and like I said before, this is going very Madden-ish with collectibles. We'll see how much they take up packs and, and how much we, we end up liking them or hating them. Um, but uh, let's let's keep moving forward. Those are those are new sets there with the souvenirs. So it's kind of cool. Um, have some fun. Have some new stuff in the game. Um, but, you know, con considering what we saw in Madden. And I'm going to stop belaboring that point. In other big news, we overhauled and rebalanced the created player by tying his progression to position-specific programs. Missions are based on new archetypes, meaning oh, oh. created players will have strengths and weaknesses depending. Okay, so archetypes. I'm guessing this is very NBA 2K-ish, where you like kind of pick your player's uh, whatever position archetype was a good word for it, and then you'll you'll have the strength and weaknesses like they said. So like not you won't have day one be able to get to 99 overall in, in all the stats here. So that's really cool. Um, I, I like the move here. I like the way they're going. It feels more I, I don't know road to glorious or glory glory uh, ish I, ish would be a better word where kind of you 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 pick your way and then you kind of specialize with them. It's it's a big improvement in my opinion and a nice job by SDS on that. Depending on your path. Once again, our live content team will be busy all season with weekly roster updates and new missions and rewards based on real world events. Make sure you join us next week and pre order MLB The Show 18 to receive. Okay, so um, the what they just said there right before that with the live content update, great, love it. Um, the next one, they're going to talk about the pre-orders. I'm not going to go through it. Basically, check out the MLB subreddit for the best pre-order for you. I'll probably be getting the digital deluxe edition. You get it early and uh, so on and so forth. So, so pre-order it for five days early. I guess they do They do talk about that. Ten standard packs and one legend card. In addition to being able to pick up your copy on March 23rd. There you go. March 23rd. So that's when I'll be getting it. Hopefully you guys like this trailer breakdown. Let me know if you guys saw something I didn't see. But overall, this got me very hyped for Diamond Dynasty. Grinding for that Babe Ruth. Hopefully I'll be able to get them this year. Um, grind them out. But uh, let me know. Thanks for watching Call to Action. I'll see you guys tomorrow.